Ness. Hmm. I think Ness is the right name for him. Ness. He just smiles from hearing his own name. Do you think he likes the name? Try putting that red cap on him. Haha. <laughs> it's too big, but it looks good on him. I hope King won't be jealous of the baby. Let's celebrate with some steak. This baby will grow up to be a hard worker just like you. I don't think he needs to be rich or famous, but I want him to be a thoughtful, strong boy. That's odd. The baby bottle that he pointed at seems to move a little bit. Hmm. And here we are in Magicant. So, it's Dell and we're back with Earthbound. Now, I have a new microphone, so I probably sound a little bit different, or at least the microphone does. All right, so let's go ahead and store some stuff. Actually, all I wanna do is store the, uh, the Magic Fry Pan. I don't really need that with me right now, or ever really. Let's go ahead and store that. It's a good thing we collected that though. It's not an easy find, so let's go ahead and, uh... Yeah, let's get out of here. I don't think there's really any anything else we need to store. Alright, then you can talk to the mom right here. And rest up. I can stay here forever. Well, I can't stay here forever, unfortunately. It is a pretty good place, though. Alright. Oh, it turned all pink-ish. I lived in your house before you were born. Ness used to be a small and weak. Ah, huh. I mean, oh well, yeah, I mean, everybody was. I mean, everybody was a baby. Everybody has been one. Alright, look at these. Look at the sun. Face the sun and smile. It's Flowey from Undertale. <laughs> yeah, they look like Flowey from Undertale. I think that's where it got inspired from. Hi, the chef specializes in puddings and pendants. Let's go ahead and buy the Earth Pendant. And we will increase our defense and get rid of our Crystal Charm. Alright, so... Hold on. Actually, let's go ahead and buy some more Earth Pendants. For the rest of my team. Like, when we get back together. So let's go ahead and buy some more Earth Pendants. And that will be it. Alright, and I'm going to go ahead and deposit those Earth Pendants. So let's go ahead and go back to Ness's sister, Tracy, and deposit those items. Okay, so let's get to it. Okay, deposit the Earth Pendants, that's all I'm pretty much going to do. Ah, oh, the locker's full. Okay, well, let's go ahead and, uh... I don't even know why I stored the rule. Oh, it's because I wanted to get to that monkey cave, but they had some rulers and protractors there. Well, I know they had. A, I know for a fact they had the ruler there, but... Yeah, we don't need the ruler anymore. Let's get rid of that. I kind of regret keeping it with me. Should have just got rid of it right off the bat. Same with the protractor. Those are very useless items. Alright, so let's go ahead and deposit the rest of those items. Yeah, the Skogo Express is all full. So, yeah, you can't really deposit any more items. So let's go ahead and move on. Well, actually, let's go ahead, let's go ahead and go inside this house first. I'm just a faint memory. You don't usually remember me. But you have heard my song back in your mind. Tell. It's a telephone. Right on the wall. Ness, did you learn how to tell what time I'm indicating? You kicked my butt badly, I won't forget. Ooh boy, now it's all dark. I mean, that's not something I would want to memorize. You destroyed my pride. Arg! <laughs> now that changes colors. Ooh, what's all this? It's me, I'm um, you when you were younger. Hey, let's play ball. Do you remember reading comics or playing video games? What? You're busy? That's Ness when he was younger. Ah, Hotel, please rest. The dream you'll have here is a dream within a dream. Your heart knows things you aren't aware of. Do you want to sleep? Yes, I will. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and get back outside. Got the snowmen. Let's go ahead and see it's, it's PSI Carmel. Come on, Ness, let's play! Gah! Long time no see, Ness. Uh, my name's Nico. Let's run and sing and dance. What? Like Nico from Love Live! You're exactly like Nico from Love Live. You wanna sing and dance, huh? <laughs> Nico, Nico, ni! Nee. Ness, Pokey took my sack. Fresh! That's it, just fresh. Yuck, yuck! Peace. We haven't played together lately. I'd like you to take your time. Cause this country will disappear when you wake up. Yeah, we will take our time. Oh, there's Pokey. Ness, you're so lucky. I envy you. I have no luck. But Ness? Well, okay. Let's be friends forever, alright? Alright, let's go ahead and head up north. You can see Saturn's down there. This is Buzz Buzz's tombstone. He appeared earlier in the game and gave up the ghost before he achieved his goal. Yeah, he was in the beginning of the game. And defeated that one star man. Alright, so here are the flying men. I am your courage. I follow you here in Magicant. My name? Let's say Flying Man. And he joins our side. And they'll help us fight through this tough adventure. To the center of our mind. Alright, so let's go ahead and move on. Yes, I still feel pain when you wounded me. Okay. The Sea of Enden is filled with ultimate intelligence. You can't go there unless you're truly ready. It's a place where you can touch the truth of the universe. Going there may bring sorrow. This music is awesome, but the music's gonna change right now. Yeah, this song is kind of like, well, it's happy, but it's like it's a song that also makes you want to cry. Loaded dice. Uh, the carefree bomb. Yeah, th these enemies are not my favorite. I'll tell you that. I mean, they're kind of strong. Yeah, he throws bombs. Look at our health. We have like 500. Well. Okay, we dropped down to 400. 457 because we got hurt, but yeah, we have a lot of freaking health. That's a lot. That really is a lot. Ooh, there's Ness! Hey, me. I found my cap that you lost. The baseball cap is just the ordinary baseball cap. Aww. Bag of Dragonite. Alright, so I wanted to mention something. Notice how Ness is wearing his pajamas. Well... Let me tell you something about the Japanese version of Earthbound, which is Mother 2. In the Japanese version, he's naked. Yeah, you're hearing this right. He is butt naked in the Japanese version in Magicant. Yeah. Now, they were obviously going to censor that when they localized the game. I just thought that was a little fun fact to point out. So, yeah, we're continuing on, and we got the loaded dice. We're just gonna go ahead and beat him up. Alright. One hit, he's down. That's that's fine. It's a good thing that he went down in one hit, because, well... Like I said, these enemies aren't really my favorite. I mean, we did a lot of grinding, finding the magic fry pan, and... We also grinded for the Sword of Kings. We didn't need to grind for the broken antenna, because, well... We found that without needing to grind. Which is good. Let's level up to level 75! And learned PSI Rock and Omega! Woo! Awesome! Okay, so moving. Oh, we got a pair of eyes. Let's go ahead and fight them. Well, what is it really? Electro swoosh! Yeah. Okay, so. Let's beat him up. Let's, let's squeeze the jelly out of those eyes. Yeah, that sounds pretty painful. And over here, there's. A present, the Goddess Band. Oh, we got too many things in our... I really don't want to get rid of the baseball cap. I really don't. It, it, it's... Uh, I, I would feel very sad to get rid of it, but okay, do not... You should probably get rid of the baseball cap, but I really don't want to. I, I, I'd feel very, 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 very bad to get rid of it. It's just... That was one of Ness's first things he's ever worn. Uh, it, it, I, I just can't bear to get rid of the baseball cap. Alright. So, now that I've expressed my feelings, I, I don't really advise you keeping the baseball cap, but... 
Hey, you know what? I just realized I had the eraser eraser still in my inventory. Why do I still have that? I don't need it anymore. I, I should have deposited that when I was talking to Tracy. Then again, she had too many things in the Escargo Express locker. So, maybe I, that's the reason why I couldn't put it in there. Oh well. Oh, critical hit! Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, the Flying Man isn't gonna be here forever. Like, he can actually die. The Flying Man actually can get killed in battle. So, when you use your Flying Man, be very, very careful. I mean, you could get another one, but I don't think I would want to go through the trouble going all the way back to get another Flying Man. Just to, you know, probably get killed at the end. I mean, the loaded dice enemies are not all that bad. I mean, there's going to be some enemies that will give me some trouble later on. I wonder what this is. A question mark is it's overworld sprite. French Kiss of Death. Where the frick do they come up with these enemies? It's a good thing I got a critical hit, because that was freaking creepy as hell. <laughs> Alright, so let's go ahead and see what's inside that present. It's the Magicant Bat. Let's go ahead and put that on. Place the ultimate bat. We actually don't even need the ultimate bat anymore. Though we have the magic camp bat. And let's go ahead and fight the electro swoosh. Let's test out our magic camp bat. Oh, we missed! Oh, uh, yeah, the first thing we, uh, we missed two times. Oh, please. Oh, Franklin badge. Good. Thanks for the for hitting the Franklin two times in a row too. Please don't miss this time. Okay, thank you for hitting. And we defeated him. Okay, so let's move on. Oh boy, three question mark enemies. Mr. Molecule. Well, if they're molecules, we wouldn't be able to see them because they're so freaking tiny! PSI Rock and Omega, let's see how much damage this does. Maybe I shouldn't have done that because, well, that took a lot of PP away, but I wanted to test it. I couldn't resist! I seriously couldn't resist. But we have some PSI Caramel, so let's go ahead and use that. Let's see what's inside that present. Magic Tart. It recovers about 20 PP. We only recovered 17. Like Android 17 from Dragon Ball Z. I think he's really cool. Android 18 is too. Android 16 had a heart. Android 19 is a fat, ugly android, and Android 20 is Dr. Jiro. And he's an evil, fucked up man. Fucked up in the head. Alright, so let's go ahead and defeat these Mr. Molecules. They're nothing, they're molecules. We can crush millions of them just by pounding on the table. And Ness leveled up to level 76. We're close to level 80. It's a pretty high level. Let's go ahead and fight another enemy right here. Let's go ahead. Oh! We didn't even need to go to the battle system. We already defeated him. Magic butterfly. Fly like a butterfly. I felt like a bulldozer trying to catch a butterfly. I couldn't resist. I always love. I, I love Chess at Radio Future a lot. Carefree bomb. Okay, well. We gotta deal with Garefree Bombs. Let's use PSA Rock and Beta for that. Uh... Oh, boo! They killed the Flying Man! No! This is bad. P PSA Rock and Beta. I don't want to use too much PP, because we're about to fight a big guy later on. Stop throwing bombs at me. Seriously, stop blobbing bombs at me, okay? PSA Rocket Alpha. Hopefully that does the trick. Hopefully, I don't want to use too much PP, like I said. Let's hope this does the trick. Yes, that took care of the first one. Does it take no, we just gotta bash him and then you'll go down. Alright, so it takes care of the carefree bombs. We're almost there. Uh, but we gotta deal with all these enemies here. Well, hopefully, I don't have to deal with too many. Also, oh, we only have to deal with one right here the carefree bomb. Uh, I want to get away. Hopefully, that can. Yes, I can! I just didn't really feel like fighting. We're gonna get a lot of experience points here anyway, so just touch that, and then here we are. The Sea of Eden. Now, there is another one of those items that 
is very, very hard to find. Like, it's an item that comes from an enemy by drop, but there's a very low chance of them dropping it. However, it is not here, despite what some book says. They say that there's, the gutsy bat is supposed to be here, but it's not. It's in the cave of the past. However, I really don't think I would ever get it. I don't think I'm ever going to get it. It's in the cave of the past, which is the last place in the game. I don't even have a care of getting it. But, just so you know, the gutsy bat is not here. It's in the cave of the past. So, now that that's out of the way, here we are on the Sea of Eden. There's a bunch of Krakens down here. But we're at a high enough level to defeat them in like three or four hits. Back then, well, we were in a lower level compared to Kraken. Before we got to Scaraba, that's where we had to fight. Okay, maybe we weren't on a lower level, but we were a lot weaker back then. And there we go, four hits and he's down. Not too hard, we didn't even need to use psychic powers. And Ness leveled up to level 77. There's another Kraken. Yeah, we're gonna have to fight him, he's faster. Alright, hopefully three or four more hits will take him down. Oh, critical hit! Okay, so the next hit should be able to take him down. There we go. Getting a lot of experience points out of the Kraken. Oh, there we go. Money, money statue. I'm the evil part of your brain. You can't beat me because you are the one who forced me into being. So, this is Nightmare Attacks. I'm honestly just gonna go ahead and just bash him, and then when I'm about to get take mortal damage, I'll go ahead and use PSI Life Up. Yeah, that's what I'm basically gonna be doing here. Oh boy, PSI Rock. Okay. Time for Life Up. That's what I'm basically gonna do here. PSA Rock and Alpha, it's not going to be as strong. 69 HP, not that bad. Yep, I'm going to continue bashing, and that's all I'm going to do. Oh, yeah, he's got life up, but... Oh boy, another PSA Rock and Omega. That's probably going to be a very uh, tough situation we got to deal with, but we're going to be fine. Go on, life up. Gamma. I don't want to use too much PP. PSA Shield Beta. Oh, boy. We'll, we'll just go ahead and... Uh... Continue bashing him anyway. Oh, the power shield deflected it. Okay, well, well, we'll still do it anyway. Yeah, when we're gonna lose HP, we'll, we'll just continue healing up anyway. Yeah, I'm expecting to lose a lot of HP in this battle, so might as well just keep attacking him like that. Oh, didn't work on this. Thank you for not attacking me. PSI Rocket Alpha doesn't do as much. Okay, keep bashing him until he's nothing. Come on. We're almost done with this fight, hopefully. Hopefully! I don't know for sure. I hope we're done with this. Oh, critical hit! That was great. And we defeated Ness's Nightmare. And Ness leveled up to level 78. Gygus' goal is to destroy you. Listen carefully. Everything in the universe could be destroyed at the hands of Gygus. He and his followers are also in trouble. The Apple of Enlightenment has foretold that Gygus' attempt will fail. It's because of the existence of a boy named Ness. That's me. Listen. Free your mind and know what you must do. Your destiny has already been decided. You. I. Where should we go? You know deep within the reaches of your mind. So sat Saturn. Saturn Valley. Yes. Go to the valley where the Mr. Saturn live. You'll get something new there. Soon Magicant will be no more. We must be quick. Go to the Saturn Valley. Go to the Saturn Valley now. And we're going to get powered up by the power of all the sanctuary locations. And we gained 200,000 experience points, and Ness leveled up to level 79. And learned to teleport beta.
Thus made all the hidden powers his own. Thus absorbed the power of the land in his heart. And Magicant was no more. Some crazy stuff is about to happen. Now you can wake up. Your friends are waiting for you. It's time to get up. And we're back. The sound stone that Ness used to have is now gone. What happened, Ness? You've been unconscious for a long time. You kept saying something. Saturn Valley. What's waiting for us there? Anyway, we need to teleport. Back to the Saturn Valley we go. Be careful not to touch that lava! <laughs> they don't, but yeah. Here we are, back into the Saturn Valley. Let's go ahead and rest up. And fix that broken antenna, too. We fixed the broken antenna, to it became the Gaia Beam. Alright. So let's go ahead and put that on Jeff. And we're going to need to do some cleaning in our inventory and the Excargo Express, so we'll see you in a bit. And we're back! Excellent, excellent. Everything is proceeded as planned. And Donut Saturn 9 made the phases order. The purpose of this device is to enable instantaneous travel through space and time. In this prototype, you can only travel to different points in the same time period. It is able, to, however, to assert the right location of enemies. It's indicating presence of the enemies in the Lost Underworld. Not sure what will happen, but I sense big time trouble for you. Gonna stay here while I help Mr. Saturn. It's important for a man to enjoy his duty. There's the phases order. Yaha, Mr. Sins are incredible folks. Applicate is the most exceptional young man, very different from the other kids. The prototype phaser sword has been stolen. Someone resembling a pig wearing clothes took Mr. Saturn's captive and stole the device. So if we try to go inside the phaser sword right now, this will happen. Hmm, it doesn't work. One thing is missing, but that one material cannot be found normally on Earth. The material I'm thinking of came from a meteorite that fell when I was much younger. Have you ever seen the meteorite e anywhere recently? Yes. Eureka, that's it! With even just a piece of meteorite, I can synthesize the material Sexonite. I doubt that Gygus will let you get the meteorite. By now, Ona is in his evil hands. You must go, though. So take every possible precaution. Mr. Sadness have introduced some of their new developments at their shop. Please check them out before you leave. I wonder what Ona is like at this point in time. Well, let's go ahead and find out. We're going to own it. Well, it's all dark, and, well, we hear that, that those sound effects from the beginning of the game. That was just a plain old garbage can right there, so there's really nothing in there. So the background music, the background quote-unquote music, like I said, was basically the sound effects from the beginning of the game when the meteorite landed on the Earth. And it plays in the Stonehenge base, too. So, speaking of which, we gotta go to the place where the meteorite landed in the beginning of the game. There's an item that we need. Okay, we got some enemies on the way too, and they're strong. I mean, we're at the end of the game, pretty much. So, yeah, you better believe these guys are strong. I'm gonna go ahead and go for a PSI Star Storm. PSI Rock and Gamma. I could go for an Omega. But, okay, PSI Fire Gamma. Oh, it didn't do that much to the Evil Eye, but we defeated the Evil Eye, and we defeated the Mechanical Octobot. Alright. And our house is near, too. We could drop by for a visit. Let's go ahead and do that, actually. It's all dark in here. Oh, Ness. You finally showed up. There's plenty of creepy monsters running around Onut now. The townspeople are barricaded in their homes, afraid to go out. I'm fine, but I'm a bit scared. Everything would be okay if you just sit here quietly in the dark. Are you hungry? Want to eat some steak? Yes. I actually do want to eat some steak right now. I'm actually craving for some steak. Maybe I'll get some after I narrate this. We'll see. Let's go ahead and check on our sister, Tracy. She's fine, and her room is light. It's not dark. <laughs> She's like, what the? Hey! Well, see you then. <laughs> and she doesn't seem to be freaked out or anything. Let's go ahead and talk to King, the dog. At this point, you guys are just might be the strongest force in the world, don't you think? Yeah, of course. 
Of course we are. We're gonna defeat Gygus. We'll do it soon. Oh, there's a lot of enemies around here. What do we got here? Mechanical Octobot. And that's a very freaky looking kind of Starman. Let's go ahead and see what it is. The Ghost of Starman. Okay, yeah, that is kind of spooky. The Ghost of Starman. Yeah, I'm going for a PSI Rock and Omega. Okay, so the Ghost of Starman's down. Yes, I fire Omega. I think that was a bit of an overkill. I mean, we're almost to the... Okay, that's level, that's level 80. We just need to go to the top of the mountain of Onet to get that meteorite, and then we'll head back to the Saturn Valley. That's all we're really doing. Ghost of Starman and Evil Eye. I know PSI Fire is not going to be strong again, enough against the Evil Eye, but we'll do it anyway. Every little bit counts. Besides, we're using Starstorm Alpha. PSI Fire Gamma. Heavy Bazooka. And then hopefully we can finish them off with a K Rock and Gamma. Hopefully. Uh, we got took care of that. Okay, yeah, there we go. We, we did. And Jeff leveled up to level 70. Okay, oh, more enemies. Yeah, there's lots of enemies here. It's the same one as last time. Ghost of Starman and Evil Eye. I'll go for the Omega attacks this time. Heavy Bazooka and Starstorm Alpha. Didn't do too much on the Evil Eye. Uh-oh, he went for a PSA Starstorm. Oh, please don't faint on us. Paula, Jeff, we need to save you guys. Oh, please don't, don't faint, don't faint, don't faint. Just please, let's finish this battle off. Hopefully we can save them before they faint. Or become unconscious, whatever. Oh, thankfully we did save Paula. And Jeff, but Paula especially. Pooh's level 69. <laughs> that awful number. Yeah, Paula, we saved her and she's at 1 HP. Yeah, just 1. Let's heal up everybody. Actually, well, that's not Jeff anyway, or Paula and Jeff, rather. Let's see what we got here. Okay, Evil Eye and Mechanical Octobot. Let's go ahead and go for PSA Rockin', PSA Fire. I mean, I was going to say, I really don't like fighting against the Evil Eye. Well, at least with using PSA Fire. I mean, because I want to attack every enemy on the row, but when you use PSA Fire, it does very little damage on the Evil Eye. See, so he only did 13 HP, but he did a lot more on the Mechanical Octobot. I mean, we're not going to be here for very long, but still. I just want to get this done and over with so we can finish this game. Uh, we're literally, like, near the end of the game. Paula leveled up to level 72. Yeah, I really can't wait to finish this up. Okay, so we got three enemies and one. Yep, the Ghost of Starman, the Evil Eye, and the Mechanical Octobot. Again, well, we got the Ghost of Starman added. Alright, so PSI Starstorm. It did a decent amount of damage to everybody. Can't say the same about PSI Fire, because it does, like I said, it doesn't do a whole lot on the Evil Eye. PSI Rock and Omega. Hopefully, this takes care of all of them. Okay, the Evil Eye goes down, the Mechanical Octobot goes down, and hopefully the Ghost of Starman goes down, and yes, it did. Alright. I was hoping to level up from that, but no, we did not. <laughs> yeah, there's just so many enemies. Well, I was hoping to only fight one, but we have to fight two. Hopefully it's not an evil eye. Oh, okay, good. No evil eye. That means PSI Fire will actually be good this time. Heavy Bazooka. Here we go. And PSI Starstorm. Well, actually... Let's go for PSI Thunder Gamma. It's like Fire Gamma. I just gotta hope it hit somebody. Oh, yes it did! It hit the Mechanical Octobot, but did not hit anybody in the second time. But the third time it hit the Mechanical Octobot again. Yes, I start going out. Oh boy, this thing be, this cannot be good. It's gonna kill Paula. Don't you dare do that. And Jeff and Pooh too. Let's hope we can save them. Okay, let me see. Ah! 
Come on, come on. We gotta hurry up and beat him up. Oh, thank you for getting that critical hit. Thank you so much for getting that critical hit. That would have been bad if you did not get a critical hit. Or worse, if you missed. That would really suck. Alright, just a mechanical octobot. Let's go ahead and just. Oh, critical hit. Thanks. Once again, we got the critical hit, so we didn't even get a turn. I love critical hits a lot. Well, when I get them. Not when they get them, but when I get them. I know that sounds kind of hypocritical, but... Hey, right, it's a single-player game. It's understandable. Okay, so we got two enemies to deal with this time. Mechanical Octobot and Ghost of Starman. Let's go ahead and go for... Do the same stuff again. Okay, Heavy Bazooka... Let's go for PSI Thunder Beta. No. Oh, there we go. Mechanical Octobot. PSI Rock and Gamma. Oh no, PSI Starstorm. Why? What's with the ghost of Starman using the PSI Starstorm now? We gotta save them right now. Hopefully, we can before. They all go unconscious. Except for Ness. Ness can probably survive it. Ah, well, we, 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 we defeated them before that happened. Jeff leveled up to level 71. Okay, moving on. We're almost there. We're, we're getting there. There's the house. It was right next to that meteorite. Treasure Hunter. This is their ex accurate house. So, yeah, we're there it is, right there. Hopefully there's no more enemies around the way. No, there is not. Okay. So, here we go. Let's go ahead and get that item. It's the meteorite piece. We got it. So now we can get out of here. But before we go back to the Saturn Valley, I want to go to Dalam first. And buy some brain food lunch. So let's go ahead and buy some brain food lunch, because we're going to need it on our way to defeat Gygus. I don't know why they call it brain food lunch. Hopefully that means it's good for your brain. If not, it sounds disgusting. But at the same time, it makes me want to eat. It sounds delicious. I know. Well, anyway, just go into this house and buy some brain food lunch right here. There we go. Let's go ahead and buy some. And we bought enough brain food lunch to last us while we fight Gygus. Now let's go ahead and go back to the Saturn Valley. Now when we get back, we're going to go to the shop in the Saturn Valley and buy a lot of Horn of Lives. Just like what we just did at Dalam with the brain food lunch. Here we go. We're going to stock up on a bunch of Horn of Lives. Alright, so we're done stocking up on Horned Lives and Brain Food Lunches. Ah, yes! This is fantastic! What? Well, I've never actually seen this incredibly rare element before. It's very interviewing. Alright, leave everything to us and you get some rest. This is getting most fascinating. Alright, let's get a good night's sleep. And then... There comes the big day. Alright. Here we go. There's no turning back. We gotta do it. We gotta save the world. Save the planet from disaster. Finally, it's complete. The Phase of Story version 2. It's equipped with two new features. First, it can repair your biological functions. Second, it can save your progress. Don't be afraid to get in. There's just one more thing, though. You might not be able to return, so make sure you're optimally outfitted. Are you ready to go? If you're not 100% perfectly completely ready, you should be as prepared as possible. It would be for the best. Without careful preparation, you'd be in big trouble. I just want to make sure you're ready. Let me know when your preparations are complete. Talk to him again. Good. At last. The time has come. Are you ready? Remember the base story version 2 is we have two new features. First, it can repair your biological functions. Second, it can save your progress. Don't be afraid. Get right in. I heard that before. You said it the first time. All right, here we go. And we're back in this place, with that awful music. The final episode of Earthbound is up next. Prepare 
for the war against Gygus. <laughs>